We're live. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you again. Uh, Paint by Nate here. We're going to be doing uh, just two episodes of. Uh, we're doing one Bob Ross, one Bill Alexander episode. I'm a little tired, so we'll see how far we get. I'm using a different palette, not a wooden palette, but a color palette today uh, than usual. The episode of Bob Ross is actually Steve Ross we're going to be painting with is Summer in the Mountain, season 25, episode 5. Should be fun. Uh, just going over the colors here. So these are a mixture of... <laughs> I was running low on paints again, so this is a mixture of... Blue Ridge oil paints and Alexander oil paints. They're not the normal water mixable ones that I use, so I won't be uh, I won't be cleaning my brush as much. So this is raw umber. This is emerald green, ivory black, Prussian blue, alizarin crimson, titanium white, Hansa yellow, yellow ochre, and naphthol red. So a, little, a lot different than normal, but uh, we just gotta make do with what we got. So here, let's get started. And I'm, I've got this already coated with uh, Alexander Magic White, the original. <laughs> cool. And again, Steve's the one painting today, so it should be fun. So we're going to start with, this, I'll get my dark color brush, all lizard and crimson here. And with these pa uh, paints, they're a lot stronger pigment than the Lucas Berlin ones that I normally use, so I don't have to use nearly as much, which is nice. I'm going to do some little X strokes up here. Just get a little bit more. We're just doing a little, it's kind of like that little left and right motion. Just get some color up here first. The background's. In my opinion, I, I always do my backgrounds as quick as possible and then work into the foreground. That's where all my details go. All right, and then we're going to pick up some Prussian blue here. And this is a two and a half inch Alexander Magic Brush. That's what I'm using here. And he's making some, some like cloudy, cloud like shapes here. And again, these, in my opinion, these don't matter. You can just throw stuff up here, whatever you want. There we go. I'm just blending out the edges so it doesn't look as crazy. And I'll go left and right, just blend that out. And if you have these uh, where the boards touch the sides. If you go over them lightly, they go away. They're the result of too much pressure and not a tight enough canvas. And I think Kenny, <laughs> there's a guy, Kenny's Greasy Oil Paints. He's funny. Uh, he, he has a tip where you put a paper towel under the board and that keeps it from doing that too, which is pretty cool. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. All right, we're gonna throw some water in here. Left to right, nothing fancy. This is Prussian blue again I'm using for the water. Normally I use thalo blue, but this one's Prussian blue today. I don't even know if I have thalo blue in the blue ridge oil color. Probably do. I haven't, I haven't looked. All right, we're just gonna go back and forth one more time. Maybe dull this middle part just a little bit. Here we go. So we got our sky, we got our water, and I'm just gonna wipe this in paper towel. And we get to make a mountain next. That'll be fun. Wipe it off. Just make sure you get most of it off. You don't have to get it completely clean. You know, I watched a video. One guy said you don't have to clean your brush ever when you're painting. I thought it was pretty cool. I haven't tried it, but. This one has some red on it, so I'm gonna get that off before I inevitably just smear red paint all over when I'm trying to do a highlight color. And it is kind of toasty up in this room, so if, I, if you see my head getting really shiny, that's why it's starting to get into summer. So. Here, summers are hot. All right, crimson, blue, maybe some black, some brown. 
just mix them up, shake them back and forth, scoop them up, throw them back down. There you go. That'll be our mountain color. Wipe the knife off. And it looks like we're going all the way across here. Thin roll of paint. Again, you go start at the top, go down to the right. All right, and then we're just gonna just gonna throw a mountain up here. It doesn't need to be super detailed or anything. We're just just putting the shape. At some point, I want to do an entire season of Bob Ross with just the palette knife. I think that would be, that would be really good practice. I think. And then the bottoms, I just shake the palette knife around, stir up the color. There we go. What's up? Oh, we need our two inch brush again. I'm gonna get that paint, make sure that paint's out of there. And we're just gonna pull down, down and to the right. Oh, these, these paints are so good. I love these paints. I, I normally use water mixable oils, but I've been dabbling with the Blue Ridge oil paints and the Alexander oil paints, and they're just, they're a different beast. And I'm just kind of, kind of doing like a, U type deal here to pull the pull the bottom down and also just blend out. And then we go all the way from left to right. There we go. Wipe this off just real quick. Shake it around in a circle. Oh, Steve's adding clouds after the fact. Crazy. We can do that. Get my so number six fan brush. Some titanium white. Just shake it left and right. And the way I do clouds is very lazy and kind of insane. Some people say it's silly, but you just go in left, right, and just <laughs> just wiggle the brush everywhere. It doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. Just go crazy. <laughs> you can fix it later. There's always a way to fix this. Never, and if you watch that Glacier Bay uh, video <laughs> that I made, you'll know that there is always a way to fix it. Because I think I messed up 10 or 12 times in that video. Still, end still ended up okay. Alright, I'm just going to get the white paint out of this guy. Go back to my white brush that I have cleaned. I don't have any red in it anymore. Do little circles up here near the bottom of the clouds. Stir them up. Do the same up here. Stir these, these little clouds up. Maybe this guy, and then pull up. And this is a, another little circle motion. That's what I'm doing here. Nothing fancy. So I try to get. It took me a long time to understand that in painting you don't have to be fancy. You just got to do it. it. Doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to be a fine artist or any of that. You can just be. You know, regular person who wants to paint and that's that's great and over time you get better that's just how it works All right, I'm wiping this brush off here again make sure those dark ones cleaned up too the blue ones will they'll mess up everything if you're not if they're not super cleaned up so just making sure all right I think we're doing highlights now. Oh yeah. I'm just doing white, little roll of paint. And these ones, I can't remember if they stick better or worse. Oh yeah, they stick way better. They stick way better than Lucas Berlin oil paints. Oh my goodness. And then this. It took me a while to understand how to make mountains like this. And the only thing that worked for me was actually Steve had said, only think about the paint touching. Like when you're doing this, no pressure. Just think about you want only the paint on this palette knife to touch the canvas. So as long as you do that, you get nice mountains. You can pull straight down. You can go down to the right. And once you get more practice, you can do... Uh, I don't know what the what the word for it is, but it's like a, a hoop. 
So like you kind of do stuff like that, shape the mountain a little bit, a little bit differently. But that all comes with practice. And I'm just going to shake the paint down over here. Right. I kind of want to put a peak back here too, so I'll do that with the small edge, tiny little roll, and we're just going to little tiny peak, it's just hanging out right in the back. There we go. All right, and then it looks like we're using some blue and some white, some white, as Bill Alexander says. And I'm going to start from the left this time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover this up with the tree. I don't, I'm not worried about that yet. No need to worry. Shadow colors. So pull some of that white again. Some blue. I'm gonna pull this down. Blend it out. Might need some more shadow color. But not yet. I think we're good for now. There we go. That looks okay. I think. Not too bad. Let me just blend out the bottom here. Just tap. And that's just like you're knocking on a door. That's all I'm doing there. And then here I'm just pulling up kind of the same swoopy motion that I made in the clouds. There we go. Here we go. Just blend it out, make some mist. I think we're using the two, no, that's the one inch brush. Sap green, Van Dyke brown. For me, I'm using emerald green. And what do I want to use? Maybe some more raw umber. Make it a little more brown. Emerald green is probably my favorite, my most favorite non traditional Bob Ross color. And I use it in place of uh, sap green most of the time. Get some more of this. Maybe a little bit of white. Not too much. And then we're going to throw some of these. I got some hairs up there. That's okay. Hairs are easy to get rid of. You just flick them. That's how you know it's a new brush if there's hairs everywhere. Or it's low, low quality. But if it's Alexander brush, they're usually pretty good quality. Get some more green. Throw them on this side. Oh, we got another hair up there. Hmm. There we go. That one's good. And then we'll get our two inch brush here again. Just tap out the bottom. And this is a ton of pressure here. It's like you're knocking on your neighbor's door after after they made you upset. All right, we're gonna get. I kind of want to use that mountain color, but also not really. Let's just use raw umber and some black. And we're gonna add another another little row of hills here. And these are just however you want them to be, up and down. Just as long as they're not flat. That's the only, my only recommendation that I would give for this. Just don't do them flat, because that's boring. You don't want boring paint. You don't have fun. There we go. I'll pull this straight down. Make some reflections. If I was a betting man, I would say he's probably going to add some shoreline here. We're going to go into emerald green, just straight emerald green. Maybe some black again. We're going to throw in what looks like a pine tree. And I'm going to cover up that spot that I didn't like. Maybe we'll make two of them. 
three. <laughs> Should we go for four? No, let's do just, just do three. I like doing the tops first, just so I know where they're gonna be, and then then I throw in the leaves. Just using that emerald green, ivory black again. I'm gonna go a little bit lower, just yeah, just so we can add some land in there later. That seems to be what he's doing. And I'll add one more little tree. Maybe this one blends in. He comes in. He doesn't go all the way. He blends in with the other two. All right, and then I'm just gonna throw this in. Just throwing in some land. Doesn't have to be super well defined here. We can use the palette knife for that later if we want to. But for now we just use that. All right, let's check over here. Make sure this is still open. Yep, there we go. All right, we got two trees. Mountain two trees. That's what uh, Kevin Hill makes fun of that all the time. Says he's <laughs> makes fun of people always painting mountains and two trees which I think is funny but if you're practicing whatever works for you I'm gonna make this guy a little bit taller just a little bit maybe he's a little sparse there we go Whew. starting to get toasty up here all right I'm going to clean this off real quick because I'm using Hansa yellow and Hansa yellow is a very weak pigment it does not like if you use regular cadmium yellow the difference between how like how well that sticks and how well that shows versus how well Hansa yellow gets covered up and blends out it's very very drastic this blue ridge oil paints Hansa yellow is actually pretty nice because it has tons of tons of pigment but like the Lucas Berlin one, I would never recommend anyone ever use Lucas Berlin cadmium yellow ever. Just throwing in some little tiny bushes back here. You can see why I said they get covered up real easy. I don't know, maybe you can see them. Yeah, you can see them a little bit on there. If we want to make them really stand out, we throw some white in there, but I think we're a little, a little early for that here. There we go. Just some subtle, subtle bushes in the back. I'll just push some over here too. And these ones will be farther away, so I'm going to hit them a bunch of times to make them look darker and not as vibrant. Maybe we'll throw some down here too. There we go. I'm just adding in some reflections. Easy. Easy reflections. Left to right. There we go. All right, now we're going to go. I'll use my light fan brush for this. We're going to highlight these uh, pine trees that we had made. And we're just going to tap where we had the branches before. And as you go down, less pressure because there's less sunshine towards the bottoms. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, what's up, Dylan? How's it going? Just hanging out today. I'm gonna reflect this, these tree, pine trees up down here. Looks like yellow water, but it's not. It's a reflection, I promise. There we go. Blended right out. I'm pretty excited I'm going to see um, Steve Ross in June. Should be cool. Him and Dana Jester and uh, Brom, the guy named Brom. Got the land coming down, mountains, 
Probably gonna throw some bushes down there if I if I were a betting man. Yep, something to hold it up. <laughs> I'll pull this up just a little bit. Sometimes I hit the canvas too hard and it pushes it too far back for me to paint on. I'm gonna use my mountain color because I don't want to waste the paint. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna scrape in some land. some muddy water this is like uh i don't know how many people out there have been to eno eno river state park they got some muddy water there that's what this is and then i always like to blend the blend the back of my land just make it kind of mush together there we go there we go coming around we'll throw some grass on there I guess we can doesn't hurt anything throw some grass in there just a little bit though not too much you don't want to go crazy here there we go I think that's enough Pull this down. This makes it look like there's a reflection of the land. Very small amount, though. You don't want to. You don't want to go all the way down because that would just look crazy. There we go. I'm gonna wipe this off on a. These are called shop towels. Like uh, higher, higher duty, heavier duty paper towels. I use them in auto shops to clean up oil and sills and stuff. I just used them because they were on sale one time. This is how I clean my brushes. I just go in circles in the towel. And that works okay. What are we doing next? One inch brush. A large something. All right. I'm just going to wipe out that extra, excess paint that I got in here. It doesn't really matter too much with Hansa Yellow because it's so weak. But oh, he's making a big old tree. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. He's making a pine tree. I don't really want to put a pine tree up there. I'm going to use this brown color, maybe some green, some black. I'm going to do a poplar or a birch tree. This is emerald, emerald green again. It's not a thalo green. Oh, it is thalo green, but red shade. Sorry. Or yellow <laughs> yellow shade. I'll get it right eventually. You can get uh, two types of thalo green. One is the blue shade, which is the common one uh, people use. It's like a viridian hue. And then you can use emerald green, which is thalo green to the yellow shade. This is a good replacement for sap green, I found. I think he's just filling in all this so we can just mash it in. It doesn't even matter. Goes up and then down. There we go. I'll throw some darker paint down in here. There we go. Alright, and then I'm going to pull some of this down. I kind of want there to be a shoreline here. I like shorelines in my paintings. If you don't want a shoreline, you don't have to put one in. It can be whatever you want. All right, let's get that dark color. Wipe that out of there. We don't want any of that for the highlights because that'll mess it up. I thought I had, oh, I do have one. Going crazy here. 
I have a whole other uh, one inch brush that I can use. All right, he's using Hansa yellow. I'm going to use yellow ochre because this is an autumn painting. And I'm just going to pull, I'm pulling straight down. And people say you want it to be like a dog paw. That's just so when you press it in, these top bristles don't explode out and you get you get highlight color everywhere. And then I'm just pressing in. I might actually add some white to make it a little bit brighter. And I'm just hitting it, putting some color in there. Maybe I'll go back to the yellow, back to the white, back to the yellow, back to the other yellow. I'm just throwing in some nice bright yellows here. Maybe we'll throw some in down here too. And if you're pushing in on the top, you want to push down on the bottom. Otherwise your highlights will look really weird. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can literally do this however it makes you happy. And then, let's just go left right here. Let's do a short one. Oh, we're not done yet, Steve. Gotta do a little, uh, little water line. And let's do a little bit more. Throw it over here. There we go. That's a nice painting. Easy peasy. All right. I'm gonna wipe this up. And I actually had time to make a, a intro screen, or not an intro, like an interlude while I'm cleaning my brushes. So if this is too loud or awful, please let me know. But I'm gonna be cleaning the palette and, well, we gotta take the painting down first. And I'll do that after, but. Here we go. This is the painting. Not bad, not bad. Mountains came out really nice. Very bright colors. Cool. All right, I'm gonna take this one to the back. I'm gonna clean the palette, and then let's see if this interlude thing works. Clean up.
Sorry about that, everybody. My Google Assistant decided to kick off on my phone and stop my video. I hope it's good. I think it's back up. It looks like it's back on the on the site there. Yep, that's back up. That's visible. Yeah, that's visible. Okay, so next video we're going to be doing here is Bill Alexander. Uh, Majestic Wilderness. They released this one on their YouTube last uh, Friday. I think it was last Friday, so we're going to be painting it. Uh, first things first, though, i got to cover the canvas in Magic White. And I think in this episode, Bill is... He's just talking a bit. He talks for the first few minutes. So we got some time to throw some white in there. This brush is actually dirty, but that's not too terrible. It's okay to have like a non-clean brush, in my opinion. You, can, you have your own opinions, but it's okay to have a non-clean brush to do your base layer, because your base layer always gets covered up anyways. Bill Alexander's Magic White also smells really good. They put uh, lavender in it. Oh. It smells nice. It's not like uh, some of the magic or liquid whites that I've used. They smell like uh, toxic chemicals. Bring those in. Get sick. Get these little hairs out of here. Just throw them out. We don't need those where we're going. So I'm just going left to right. This is Bill Alexander Magic White. Um, just making sure we get a bunch all over the canvas. Bill really is. Bill's just a legend. And you, and this is my opinion, but I, I think you learn a lot more from his videos than the Bob Ross ones, just because he's doing so much different stuff. Like he has some, some videos he's just he's like painting a candle. Another one he's doing is a, a a wine jar another one's like glasses on a book like stuff all the bob ross ones well they're really good like you'll learn a lot from them they're all kind of the same formula i guess you could say the same pattern and over time i mean i don't know if anyone's been keeping up with my instagram but i'm 25 seasons into bob ross i painted like 300 of them at this point so i kind of I kind of know what's coming next every every time. All right, so I'm just wiping off the excess white into that, and then I'm going to actually use this towel. You know, saying, "Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Why are you doing it?" Well, this gets any of the extra white that I had on the canvas off. Because if you have too much on here, your paint will just it'll it'll all turn bright, and your painting will look flat, and you'll be sad. And you'll say, "Why didn't you warn me?" Well, now I'm warning you. That's my warning. There we go. All right, this is a good uh, palette here. What have we got today? This is all Blue Ridge oil paints, Blue Ridge oil colors. It's a local, uh, he's a local guy in Nashville that makes these paints. Naphthal red, yellow ochre, Hansa yellow, titanium white. Actually, this is titanium zinc white, sorry. There's a, there is a difference, it's, it's not as strong. Uh, permanent alizarin crimson. Thalo Blue Red Shade, this is Ivory Black, and we have Emerald Green again, and Raw Umber. And with that, let's see what Bill is up to. Oh, he's already into the painting. He's got some blue on the brush, and he's just going crazy up here. Something like this. <laughs> just some movement here. Something that looks like clouds. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. And on this right side, I believe he has yellow ochre, or this is deep orange. And I don't have deep orange, but you can make it with yellow ochre and naphthol red, or cadmium red, just a dark red. Maybe even a rose and crimson if you want. So I'm gonna grab this yellow. I'm gonna grab a little bit of red. And then mix the two. That might be too much, probably too much. 
Does it matter? Maybe. Whoa. <laughs> that's a fireball up there. And that's okay. Does it matter? No. <laughs> you could do whatever you want in here. There's no rules. You don't have to use the same colors that someone in a video is using. Now I'm just going to go left to right. There we go. So now we got like a... The sun is maybe over here. It's hitting some clouds. Something like that. Builds on a, He's doing his monologue about inner power. Good living power. <laughs> Gotta find that nice harmony. That's right, Bill. Alright, I'm wiping out that red color that I got in there. Just because it's so... Naphthol red is a very, very strong red. So if you have any of that in your brush, it's gonna... It's gonna blow out whatever... Whatever you try to put over it, it's gonna blow it up. Can you say blow up on YouTube? <laughs> he is he is very aggressive. Fire it in. Fire it in there. That's what he says all the time. Fire it in. Alright, I think this guy is cleaned up. Or as good as it needs to be for this. Whew. It's getting real toasty up here, I'll tell you. Probably like 84 in here. I want to turn on the AC, but then it plays over the mic and people are like, oh, we don't want to hear that. I'm just blending out the bottom just so it's not as, I don't know, it felt like it was really a really harsh bottom there. I didn't quite like it. So I'm just going to blend this out. Maybe where these come together, I'll blend them out some more. There we go. All right. We're going to use some blue. Some mauve. What is mauve? <laughs> so what tell me what mauve is. I don't know what color that is. Red? No, he said crimson. Looks black to me. But he's got some white in there too. Let's throw some white. There we go. And it's not totally blended. I don't know if you can see that, but there's streaks of the colors. That's how you, that's how you want it. Alright, we're going to do a mountain. There's a mountain in the picture, so I'm assuming that's what's coming next. <laughs> it's like the third time he's come up and then stepped back. Oh. <laughs> he's still talking about the paint. All right, now we're, now we're good. Now we're good. Let's go. All right. Oh. <laughs> And the way Bill does mountains, he does the highlights or the base the same way Bob does the highlights, which is quite interesting. I noticed. He, he, he does the same no pressure type stroke. So the inner side of it is also, it has the spots just like his regular highlights do, which is quite interesting. All right, I'm gonna make another peek up here. And this is the no pressure, just paint touching the canvas, pulling up and down. Nice and open. That's what he just said. Nice and open. Yeah, there you go. Maybe down here I'll add some pressure. And just... <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're doing down here. It does not matter. Clean this palette knife up. I'm assuming we're going to do highlights next. There we go. Wipe that off there. Make sure I don't have any paint all over me. All right. Oh, the chat was closed. <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't see your message. Sorry. All right. 
He's got some darker blue. Maybe it's straight blue. I'm not quite sure. He's putting some like in the middle here. And then some up there. These are like your shadows. I don't know if you can see those. Michaels, get your ads out of here. Come on. I forgot to renew my YouTube uh, premium, so I get ads for everything. But I don't notice it on my desktop because I have the ad blocker. Alright, well he's got a little hill up here. I'm just going to pull it down there. There we go. Just making some shapes, mountain shapes. Does that line up with his? Yeah. He's got some space up here. Maybe I want to expand it later, but it should be okay. Take some more white. And our mountain color. And then we're just going to come in here and gonna do some highlights. Highlights and such. There we go. And Bill does them a little bit differently here. He'll do he'll do this like mid tone and then he'll then he'll throw in like straight white or almost near perfect white. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> somebody somebody in the chat knows. You know what I'm talking about. Let's just throw these over here. Give those mountains some shape. These I'm thinking are farther back than the ones in the middle. This is straight white. Ooh. <laughs> Can you make a close up shot on this? Maybe one day I'll have a camera crew. They can, they can do close ups so you guys can see this better. <laughs> Alright, let's make this one farther in front. These are like the Tetons. Or like, uh, oh, not, not quite Caledonia, but those are all red in Spain. Maybe we'll do this a little, 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 little bit over here. And this I just put, I don't know if you can see that, it's on the very, very far top corner. Nothing, uh, just so I know I don't have too much paint there. There we go. <laughs> Alright, he's doing he's doing this one. He's making it go out in front. Something like this. Ooh, look at that. That looks very, very nice. I like that. And these paints break way, way better than all the other paints that I've used. They're just so nice. They're just oh. Blue Ridge oil paints, if you have a chance. They don't have his logo on this one, but this is the bottle of linseed oil that I use. He just hand labels them. It's pretty cool. All right. He's got light, talking about light, dark against light. <laughs> Very excited about it. I think that's my goal, is to just be as excited as Bill Alexander is about this. So I'm very, if you could tell by the videos, I'm a very mellow person. I'm not, I don't get very excited. I'm not easily excitable. Alright, I'm going to use some blue, maybe some of this mountain color again. Alright, I'm doing this on the shadows. Back here. And then some up here, some up here, just a little tiny amount of the, this is white and the mountain color. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if you can see that, but. Oh, he doesn't even uh, blend out the bottoms. Interesting. Sap green, I'm using emerald green. And some black. 
this is this is ivory black. It's not very strong. Uh, they also have Mars black, but I I rarely use that just because it's like probably the most strong black you can use. I might need some thinner actually. And for that, I just have a little. Uh, it's like one of those things people use to make beard bombs. One of my friends used to make those, like beard oils. But I could never grow a beard, so it just looked silly. That I had this bottle sitting around not doing anything. And I just mixed that paint that I had in with that oil. And that makes it very thin. Very, very thin oil. Oh, ads again. Somebody needs to tell these Alexander Art folks to turn off these midstream ads. It's super frustrating. If you're trying to paint along, you just get bombarded with a Michaels ad. Alright. Little green. Got stray hair in here. It's driving me nuts. Alright. And he's doing kind of the same thing that uh, Steve Ross was doing last episode, or the last one that we painted. Uh, straight down, straight down. That's all we're doing. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna do this back and forth because it makes it kind of pointy. And then we can make a taller one. I'm gonna be very careful around that white because it's so strong. I think this is the part, if I've watched this one before. Yeah, he he uh, he messed this one up when he recorded it. You gotta take the blue in first. And he just goes. <laughs> That's how you do water. Don't think about it. Don't think. It's not worth the effort. There we go. Now we've got that. We can do the kind of the bottom parts of these. There we go. And then we're gonna take some more of that emerald green, some more of the black. And we're gonna reflect these down the bottom. So the way Bill does these, he, he goes up to line it up and then down. Up to line it up and then down. Line it up, down. Up, down, 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 up, down. That's a big one. There you go. That's all we're doing. Up, down, up, down. And then very gentle, straight down with this. Straight down, left. Right, left, right, done. Reflections, done. I gotta make sure these brushes are cleaned off here. There we go. Doing the little circles again. Clean this up, clean this one up too. I feel like this middle part needs to be darker. What do you guys think? I don't know. It's hard to make dark colors with this, uh, the colors I'm using because they're not, oh geez, they're not very strong pigments. I just got paint all over the floor. I could use straight black and brown. That might make it a little bit better. Or maybe put a rock or something in front so you don't even notice it. And the way I clean these afterwards is with, um, they have the video on Alexander Art, but it's just vegetable oil, uh, soap, and water, and it'll clean, it'll clean paint, uh, paint brushes, so it's pretty cool. All right, so that's clean. I got paint everywhere, all over myself. We're going to throw in some tree trunks, so that's again, tiny, tiny roll. Now, up, 
Now we're just adding in little tree trunks. You can also use the bottom of the knife if you want to. Just cutting in some tree trunks there. Alright, that's wiped off. We're going to use, looks like highlights colors again. We'll use yellow and some of this orangey color. Might be too much. Yeah, that's way too much. There we go. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go. Alright, we're going to draw a little rock here. There we go. Let's make a little rock. There we go. These are like distant rocks, I think. All right, now we're going to take the this brush and we're just going to pull these down a bit. All right, got that cleaned up. What's Bill, Bill saying to use um, this darker color? Throw it in there. I need one of this black, sorry. There you go. There we go. I think he had more highlights than this on his, so I'm going to use some more, more of these colors. take this highlight or lighter brush again. I think that's what Bill's doing here. Pulling that down. Cool. All right, I gotta pause him real quick. Whoops. Go over here. There we go. Whoops. And play that again. All right. He's doing a shoreline with Looks like a light color. Is that what he's doing? Uh, some white. It's hard to tell because he doesn't really say what colors he's using for these types of things. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Just using this white all the way across, it looks like. Oh no, I muddied up my white paint here. That's okay. All right, this one goes, it looks like this one builds going up here. And then over there. Oh, he's making a little tiny little. He's using this to make little tiny ups. Looks like grass. Might have messed this one up a little bit, but I can fix that. Man, these ads are something else. They're everywhere. Oh, yeah, Steven, I'm doing a Bill Alexander. I'm just painting along with his, the new one they released. I need to put some water movements in here. Cool. 
to Agnarok, you have your heat on? I guess you do live a lot farther north, so that makes sense. It's like 80 something in this room, 87. I'm melting. Oops. Ooh. Let's push these up here. Little green. I'll use some like uh, emerald green color that I had. Emerald, emerald green and uh, this is Hansa yellow because I don't have any cadmium yellow today. You're using very bright colors it looks like here. I feel like I should use darker first, but that's okay. I'll just try to match what Bill's doing for now and then we can fix it up later. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Steven. I, I wish I was around then to watch them. There's a lot of these, like, really cool, like the TV artists. That I wish I could have met. strokes here and then we're using that white color going on right here this is like a shoreline down here there we go I'm just pulling maybe some down there too I kind of want to use this and straighten this one up just a little bit paint so we just gotta throw in what we got this is some brown paints here or raw umber sorry not brown I'll shake that one off clean this one I'm not sure what he's doing now he's making uh, looks like yellow all kinds of random colors here making like a stump something like this rotten tree I always darken the back side here maybe that'll help there we go. maybe there's a knot in the bottom or something something like that Oh, thanks, Stephen. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep practicing. I'm only I've only been in this for a year and a half, so I've just I'm just starting really. All right, now I get to do the fun part. Well, I don't want to do the fun part yet. I want to throw some uh, some of this darker green color down here first. Make it look like mud or something. There we go. And then once we've got that in, some yellow. Oh, I got a hair there. That's no good. Yellow, green. Smacking out different stuff. Last time I did this, I had too much paint. All right, we're gonna. He's making bull rushes here, so I gotta focus. That's my favorite thing. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do some more of these. Oh, I got some on my face. <laughs> oh well, I'll clean it up later. My only. Make sure you, you're holding it straight when you're doing this, otherwise, it just. You'll end up with like huge blobs from random places. Alright, looks like Bill's done. The only part that I have to do still, he had some more. He had these bull rushes over there, so I'll go. 
I'll go put it in there. All right, let's pause Bill here. Go back home. All right, and we're gonna add these in over here. Oh, that's a, that's not coming off at all. <laughs> that's just so fun. I don't know. if you if if folks in the chat have not. If you have not painted, do this episode and just get to this part and you'll have a good day. <laughs> oh my, that's fun, that's fun. All right, uh, that I think Bill's done. I just got to do a quick little signature here and for that I've got this linseed oil. The linseed oil again, these are Blue Ridge oil paints. They're uh, just a local paint brand, the guy in Asheville makes them. Very good paints. I'll get my Alexander script liner and I'm just going to swirl that in here. I forgot to sign that last painting we did. Um, so I'll probably do that later after I shut down the stream. But we're just going just gonna to throw in our little signature here so people know that we were there. And one and two. And then we're going to date it. Today's date 2022. I'll just put two twos there. Right, put that pallet down. Wipe this guy off. And then I'll clean up everything after the stream as well. So you guys... <laughs> Dylan, don't get... Dylan's in there giving me the crazy reactions. All right. So, this is, what, this is how we did. Not too bad. Mountains came out pretty good. I like the sky. The sky came out pretty good. I got to work on the foreground a bit. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there eventually with practice. I might highlight some water in there again as well. But thanks for joining me, everybody. It's been a great, great stream today. I hope I'll put these up. I'll split up the videos after um, maybe on Monday or Tuesday. I'll split them up and post them as individual videos for anybody that wants to watch. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next week.